I'm a musician is mainly because of Jimi Hendrix. You know, art society has kind of entrenched itself in academia or the, the walls of Carnegie Hall or the Metropolitan where you have to have a $75 ticket to get in and wear tux, you know, where these, these kids out there are watching MTV and are completely oblivious to other art forms, other sounds, you know. So it, they're both hermetic systems in society. What I would like to do is you know, just find more interstices between these two worlds. You know, not that people necessarily have to like, but but I think it's more enriching just to know. Hip hop, classical rock, pull of Japanese pops, J pop, like reggae and hip hop, alternative music. Pretty much what's ever on the radio. <laughs> most complex sound the, when you get the, the most the complex most, sound no, no. <laughs> the language of the notes is probably difficult for a first time listener no it's so hard to understand almost scary i felt something in here to me like too progressive kind of orchestra music it's, yeah. yeah it's really difficult to like understand the sound and then what the composer want to describe or express from the sound. I can't categorize the music at all. I guess it was it was different from anything I've ever heard. So I guess it was difficult to understand at first. Coordination is difficult. The, and, and then on top of that, yes, it's the, the coordination of, he has very precise, um, you know, rhythms and, and uh, ensemble playing that is supposed to sound, I think, with the, the feeling of being very spontaneous and improvised and free. But his ideas are very clear. So in order for those ideas to come out through the music, uh, they have to be kind of uh, performed as accurately as possible in order to convey the kind of uh, this kind of uh, loose improvisatory free um, uh, sense, and uh, so that is very difficult. my humble abode. Come on in. Over here, you have some posters that I made of, of concerts. Th this is how I let you guys in. <laughs> but maybe we can listen to see. If... When and how do we most interact with music? shopping, there's music playing, in the elevator there's music. We're constantly being inundated with recorded sound. Like when I'm writing? Always. <laughs> After I get off the work when I'm driving a car. Always in the morning um, while I'm driving. Oh, I think I'm doing something else. Internet. 
with such pervasive social conditioning, when you just go to a concert and just try to concentrate, we're not used to it. translation necessary. It was very physical and then I studied it and learned all the other things around it, you know, the structure and I, I can appreciate it in many levels now, but it was a very direct kind of uh, um, uh, effect it had on me. A lot of classical music you have to think about and it doesn't reach me in the same way that a lot of pop music like John Coltrane, which is a big influence on this piece. It's um, just like energy, it's like a cry. It's very physical. Now, one of the things I realized seeing one of these completely black canvases by uh, Franz Klein was that, one, you could not photograph it. And two, there are different, if you look carefully, there are different strands and shades. And that, to me, said that I had to be alive and stand, physically stand in front of this painting to experience it. That, experience makes made me feel more more alive right he's a he's a, cha he's a champion of the cause of new music uh, bringing it to uh, to more people of all ages and also um, bring people to understand it yeah video is much like easier to see the sound and then like performance you can kind of see the emotion seem a lot more complex and they were timing it together, you know? Um, I guess that was the big difference. I think I appreciated it more on video than just listening to it. When I'm just listening to the music, there's all the destruction of me. But when I'm watching on the TV, I can just absorb in, in the music and watching the performance. I noticed the radio, the, the boombox. I noticed the boombox, and I heard, I heard um, like a, a, a droning sound in the background. 
and I was just wondering where it was coming from because neither players were were doing anything. And it was just coming from that that boombox, and I think that was definitely that was something new that I got out of it the second time because I didn't notice that the first time. I was too enwrapped in watching than actually listening. There's a boom box in that piece, and there's pre-recorded sound of the cello doing the drone. But all of a sudden, when you hear it from the boom box, it changes direction. If you're in the concert hall, it, it changes completely. The reverb changes too. It's in a different space. But there's enough of a representation of the sound that you know it's supposed to be the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so th there's a, drama, a theatrical, dramatic role of perception that you have to have been there.